Renoir painted three pictures of dancing couples in 1883. The painting on the far left depicts an elegant Parisian white ball for which the dancers are fashionably attired. The centre and far right paintings show an open air cafe, possibly in the village of Bougival, 10 miles west of Paris, where popular outdoor dances often took place. In Dance in the City, the young lady wears a two piece white silk ensemble or toilette de bal, trimmed in organza or lace. The cut of her bodice reveals her neck, back, and upper arms, which are likely powdered. Older and wealthier women wore far more ornate dresses that were heavily trimmed, as can be seen in this fashion plate from the magazine L'Elegance Parisienne, 23rd of December, 1882. It was customary to carry a fan while waltzing, and 19th century viewers would have been surprised that Renoir's city dancer does not carry one. The country dancer's pink cotton dress is similar to one known as the pompadour, a floral printed dress advertised below by a Parisian department store in 1883. Renoir complements both country dresses with the same fashionable red straw hat trimmed with large purple fruits. Fruits on hats were at the height of summer fashion, as seen in this magazine illustration from La Femme Elegante, 16th of September, 1883. In Dance in the Country, on the left, the woman wears thick tan leather gloves with visible seams. The loose fit reveals that the pair of gloves were probably mass-produced and sold in a department store. In Dance at Bougival, on the right, neither dancer wears gloves, and the couple's bare hands not only touch, but clasp each other tenderly. A coveted part of one's attire, gloves kept bare hands from touching. Here we note the elegant white gloves worn by both man and woman and the way their hands gently press into each other. Renoir presents the men in a variety of French fashions. The city waltzer wears a formal jacket. Note how his tails swing with the movement of the dance. The country waltzers wear lounge suits, a more informal style that had been popular since the 1860s. The lounge suit worn in dance in the country is fitted at the waist and worn over a starched white shirt. Shiny black leather shoes complete the gentleman's ensemble while also calling attention to the quick steps of the waltz. In dance at Bougival, the man waltzes in a looser jacket, wool sweater and casual straw hat. Placed side by side, Renoir's magnificent trio of waltzing couples evokes a panorama of fashionable modern life, from Paris to Bougival. <laughs>